Here's a live look at the St. Louis skyline. While you can't see ozone, it is out there and concentrations are hazardous. That is why our area is under an air quality alert. Five in your size, Tracy Henson is live tonight with why we should take note on days like today, Tracy. Kelly, it is ozone that we are talking about, but what exactly is it and why is our phone? Why are our phones warning us about it? Orange is like it is today is an alert for unhealthy for sensitive individuals. She's talking about the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency Air Quality Index. It's something the Weather First team has shown in our reports all weekend. Uh, unhealthy for sensitive groups and tomorrow we're expecting it to be the same. So if you, have you would think that's just a few people. It's actually lots of people. Children, the elderly, anybody who works outside, anyone who's sensitive to air pollution, and then everybody with any kind of lung disease. It's for that reason your phone's weather app is telling you there is an air quality alert. There's too much ozone. Well, there's a fun little saying, good up high, bad nearby. Here's how it builds at the ground level. Ozone is a gas molecule made up of oxygen. When it comes into contact with pollutants like exhaust and are then hit by sunlight, a chemical reaction takes place and ozone smog is formed. It can be close to the surface and dangerous for people to breathe in. Very simply put, it's kind of like a sunburn on your lungs. Regardless of sensitivity, it does affect everyone. You just have to be mindful of what the air pollution forecast is and know that though you can't see it, it can be harmful for your lungs. Now the advice for all that is hard to follow on nice sunny and warm days. It's to stay indoors. Another thing that we can all help contribute to lowering our ozone concentration is by limiting those gas powered engines. Live in St. Louis, I'm Tracy Hinson, five on your side.